Why do some people have more vibrancy than others? Hi, if we haven't met before, my name is John Ruman, International Business Coach and Consultant. My job is to help you achieve the greatness that I believe is your birthright and destiny. Here's the thing. There's two kinds of people in the world. There's those that literally vibrate at such a frequency that they bounce. They, when you're around them, you feel great. You feel energized. You feel invigorated. You feel emotionally positive when you may have been a little less so beforehand. Hey, good to see you, Tammy. A lot of people are challenged by feeling emotionally, physically, and I would even say spiritually less energized than others. And I truly feel that it is possible for anyone to shift from where they are now to a paradigm and existence that is considerably more vibrant than what they have today. And what I would offer to you is you have a choice. You can watch them, you can be envious, you can be jealous, or you can actually take the steps necessary to become that person who's thriving. So let me tell you a little bit of backstory about myself. I have not always been as happy and positive as I am. I've had several days of darkness in my life. And now I have a life that is more or less consistently good, consistently on the positive side of things. I'm not saying it to impress you, but to impress upon you, it's a skill that I've learned and practiced. Physically, I do think some people have more natural stamina, maybe a good word, but core vibrancy and, and energy and the ability literally to be alive in life, I have found actually comes with practice and implementing certain things. I was not always, so right now I would say I am over 40 and I feel 22 23, I feel amazing in my body. I would encourage and invite you to consider the concept that regardless of your age, you can step into an experience that is much more positive and vibrant than you have now. Your spiritual journey, whatever that is, your religion, your spiritual, even if you're non-spiritual, your ability to give that attention in such a way that it enlivens you, I think is a critical factor. So the reason I bring these things up is I'm actually doing a workshop in, in on Sunday. The entire part of the workshop is I have, I spend my nights, my weekends, my free time studying how to be the greatest version of myself so I can help as many people as possible be the greatest version of their selves. If the issue doesn't, uh, is not something I experience personally, I still explore it so I can help others. What I have found is vitality within our physicality, our mental alertness, our ability to have clear thinking, our ability to brainstorm, to come up with fresh ideas, to always be on, is actually a skill rather than some random lucky thing. So I would encourage you to not give up. If you are the person, again, who lives in envy of those people, step outside of the fact that you are where you are now. That's fine. Most important thing is that you say, I am here. Don't. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad. Trust me, there's always someone worse off than you and there's always someone better. That's okay. Here's where I am and I want to go there. Consistently moving forward in that direction is what life is about. Setbacks are okay. They help you to grow. They help you to move further in that direction. So whatever setbacks you're experiencing now, I would encourage you to move in that direction and find that new amazing version of you, which is in there. So take the time to fuel your mind. Take the time to feed your mind. Take the time to create good habits that allow your brain to rest and become a, a more full, more amazing, more vibrant version. Do body habits that make you feel alive, that make you feel energized, that make you know your confidence, that make you know your full potential, your power, versus begging for attention, 
begging for approval from rest, the rest of the world. I want you to be in the position that you move with such confidence and such steadfast forward movement that whatever your mission is, you literally have no clue what's happening outside of there because you are so forward moving in it. When you get there, when you feel that, the amount of energy within you literally explodes in a beautiful way. You become unstoppable. I want you to achieve that. So that part of that is actually aligning with where you're meant to be. So that is part of this. So having the right habits, your brain is on. So your mindset is on. So you can be focused and stop imagining competition out there getting in the way when really it's inside your head. Understand that there are habits you can have within your body's physicality and your mindset that will change the way you feel, that there are things you can do physically exercise-wise, diet-wise, that are more beneficial than others. And when you stack these on top of each other, you become a continually better version of yourself. And setbacks are to be expected, that's life. But the important part is that you're always moving forward and making yourself more amazing all of the time. So. Take the time to invest in you. Trust me, it'll be worth it. If this is something you want my feedback on, my workshop on Sunday, this Sunday is all about that. It's at St. Augustine. It's from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, the cost is 200 TT, 250 on the day. And I will basically give you all of the things that I teach my private clients about how to have a maximum oomph and energy and vitality in all these areas. Everything from, again, diet, exercise, sleep, mindset, and powerful habits and, and things they can do that will compound to make you a super vibrant human being and feel 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 years younger than you do. It will be steps that will move in that direction. It will not be an immediate thing, but it will be forward direction. So with that, please, Take little steps that you can do. You know what they are. What are you avoiding now that you could be doing that will help you be at that level in your future? So walk in that direction, move in that direction. There's no one to blame but you, and that's great. <laughs> so stop pointing the finger out elsewhere and say, I can do better. I'm going to do better. I'm going to take a micro step consistently. And before you know it, you're living a whole new life that if you were to actually journal on a daily or regular consistent basis, you'd be blown away after six months to a year, the new life you live. So move in that direction. I look forward to seeing you on the other side, living the life of greatness in a more vibrant and powerful state. Thank you very much.